every molecule of my body was telling me that this was a bad idea. Guess who finally got a U2s? Yep, 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 that's right. Belle finally got her very own U2s, and these are dropping on November 20th at 3 p.m. EST. We're also giving away one signed U2s, and you can join the giveaway by going to cypherden.u2s.com. You can enter by following U2s on Twitter, YouTube, or Reddit, and each one is an entry each. Okay, seriously, I'm super excited about this, so I hope you guys are too. YouTube.com, November 20th, 3 p.m. EST. See you guys there. You see, I wasn't always on the run. The life of an outlaw? Well, it isn't for everyone. I was a good kid. I never broke the. <laughs> what am I doing? Why? Why did this character just become Cowboy Batman? We'll go with it. I was a good kid. Never broke the law. No, seriously, I was such a good kid that I would have broken down just because I might have forgotten to do my homework. That is why the water you're drinking today is actually dinosaur. Oh, Mister, 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 Mister. Mister. Mister? Yes? You forgot the homework. It all began when my family decided to go to the mall. And just like every trip to the mall, you have to go to the toy store. But here's the problem. We're broke. So we went window shopping. When you go to the mall and you don't buy anything, when you're an adult, it's just like achievement unlocked. They just leveled up on responsibilities. But when you're a kid, it's just, it's just mean. Can I, can I, can I get this? Dad! Dad! Can I, can I get this cardboard cut out of Toby McGuire, please? Get a... Hey, Mom. Can I get this? Pretty please? I'm sorry. Mom can't really afford it right now. Oh. That's okay. I just wanted to be the very best. Like every other kid who was hooked on Pokemon. Kid, with great responsibility comes great po- You don't understand. You're not a Pokemon trainer, Toby. You're a spider. So I walk back, defeated, thinking to myself, It's not fair. You never get to have anything. What if I just- no, I can't. I can't. That's stupid. I can't steal this. I'm good. I'm a good person. But what if I just wanted to break the rules just once? No, it's stupid. This plastic thing, it's gonna beep and I'm gonna end up in jail. Unless... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Back to the shelf you go. On the way back, I cross paths with him. Right in front of me was a Psyduck. Okay, it was obviously a toy, but there he was, taunting me, unboxed, out in the open. I'm gonna steal it. Unless... Wait, what? No, done. You're better than that. Every molecule of my body was telling me that this was a bad idea. I shoved Psyduck in my sweater, in my armpits, and there was no turning back. I was a nervous wreck, I was sweating a whole ocean, Psyduck was probably drowning in my armpits at the time, just imagining the worst things possible. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. What if, what if the alarm goes off? What if, what if the security card is, is what if he saw? What, what, what do I do? What do I do? What if my mom finds out? No, no. She can't find out. No, no. They they have to know. How can they not? What if they just they they're just messing with me? What if what 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 if what if what if we're home? Wait, what? But see, here's what I didn't realize. That Psyduck would haunt me for the rest of my life. 
I couldn't even stand to look at him. My conscience was eating me alive. Its whole existence, its presence just constantly reminds me of my terrible decision. 